Sam Altman is a well-known entrepreneur and investor who has made some big bets on the future of technology. One of his most ambitious ventures is OpenAI, an artificial intelligence research company that aims to create and ensure the safe use of powerful general intelligence. But Altman is not only interested in AI. He is also one of the main backers of Helion Energy, a nuclear fusion startup that claims to be on the verge of delivering clean, abundant, and affordable energy to the world. Nuclear fusion is the process that powers the stars in space. It involves fusing light atoms, such as hydrogen, into heavier ones, such as helium, releasing huge amounts of energy in the process. Unlike nuclear fission, which splits heavy atoms into lighter ones and produces radioactive waste, fusion does not create any harmful byproducts or greenhouse gases. It also uses abundant and cheap fuel sources, such as seawater. However, achieving fusion on Earth is extremely challenging. It requires creating and sustaining very high temperatures and pressures, as well as controlling the plasma state of matter where the fusion reactions take place. Scientists have been working on fusion for decades, but so far no one has been able to produce more energy from fusion than it takes to initiate and maintain it. That's where Helion Energy comes in. The company, founded in 2013 by a team of physicists and engineers, has developed a novel approach to fusion that it says is simpler, cheaper, and faster than existing methods. Helion uses a device called a Pulse Field Reverse Configuration FRC, reactor, which compresses plasma using magnetic fields and electric currents. The reactor then collides two FRCs at high speed, creating a burst of fusion energy that can be converted into electricity. Helion claims that its reactor can achieve net energy gain meaning that it can produce more energy than it consumes. It also says that its reactor can operate at lower temperatures and pressures than other fusion devices, such as tokamaks or stellarators, which require huge magnets and complex engineering. Helion's reactor is also modular and scalable, meaning that it can be built in smaller units and connected together to form larger power plants. Helion has been testing its prototype reactor, called Polaris, at its facility in Everett, Washington. The company says that Polaris has achieved temperatures of over 100 million degrees Celsius, which is hotter than the core of the sun. It also says that Polaris has demonstrated stable plasma confinement and efficient energy conversion. Helion's bold vision has attracted some prominent investors, including Sam Altman. Altman has invested $375 million into Helion through his venture capital firm Y Combinator Continuity Fund. He has also joined Helion's board of directors. Altman believes that Helion has the potential to revolutionize the energy sector and address the climate crisis. Altman is not alone in his enthusiasm for Helion. The company has also secured a power purchase agreement with Microsoft which means that the software giant will buy electricity generated from Helion's first commercial fusion plant when it goes online in 2028. Microsoft is the first company to commit to buying electricity from fusion, which shows its confidence in Helion's technology and timeline. Helion's plan to deliver fusion energy by 2028 is ambitious and unprecedented. Many experts doubt that the company can overcome the technical and regulatory hurdles that still lie ahead. But if Helion succeeds, it could usher in a new era of clean, abundant, and affordable energy for humanity. Nuclear fusion is a process where two lighter elements combine to make a heavier element, releasing a huge amount of energy in the process. It is the same process that powers our sun and other stars where hydrogen atoms fuse together to form helium at extremely high temperatures and pressures. Nuclear fusion is a promising source of clean and abundant energy that could help fight climate change and meet the growing electricity demand. Unlike nuclear fission, 
which splits heavy atoms into smaller ones. Nuclear fusion does not produce radioactive waste or greenhouse gases. It also uses fuel that is readily available on Earth, such as deuterium and tritium, which are isotopes of hydrogen. However, achieving nuclear fusion on Earth is not easy. It requires creating and sustaining a plasma, a state of matter where atoms are stripped of their electrons and form a hot and dense gas of ions and electrons. The plasma must be heated to over 100 million degrees Celsius, which is hotter than the core of the sun, and confined by strong magnetic fields to prevent it from touching the walls of the reactor. The plasma must also reach a high enough density and pressure to overcome the natural repulsion between positively charged nuclei and allow them to fuse. Scientists have been working on developing nuclear fusion reactors for decades, but so far none have achieved a net energy gain meaning that more energy is produced by the fusion reactions than is consumed by heating and confining the plasma. The most advanced fusion project in the world is ITER, an international collaboration that aims to build and operate a tokamak, a donut-shaped device that uses magnetic fields to confine the plasma. ITER hopes to demonstrate that it is possible to produce 10 times more fusion power than the power needed to maintain the plasma by 2035. Another approach to nuclear fusion is using powerful lasers to compress and heat tiny pellets of fuel, creating a burst of fusion energy in a fraction of a second. This is called inertial confinement fusion, and it is being pursued by several research facilities around the world, such as the National Ignition Facility in the U.S. Recently, U.S. officials announced a breakthrough in this field, claiming that they achieved a positive energy balance for the first time in an experiment that generated 1.3 megajoules of fusion energy from 1.9 megajoules of laser energy. Nuclear fusion has the potential to revolutionize our energy system and provide a clean, safe, and virtually unlimited source of power for humanity. However, there are still many technical and scientific challenges to overcome before it can become a reality. In this video, we will explore how Sam Altman, a visionary entrepreneur and investor, is creating the future of nuclear fusion and crypto with his new venture, Helion Energy. Commercial nuclear fusion is a long sought after source of clean and abundant energy that could revolutionize the world's energy system. However, Achieving commercial fusion is not an easy task, and it faces many challenges and risks that have delayed its realization for decades. In this section, we will explore some of these challenges and risks, and why some experts are skeptical of Helion Energy's timeline and technology. One of the main challenges of commercial fusion is to produce more energy from the fusion reaction than the energy required to initiate and sustain it. This is known as achieving net energy gain or break-even. So far, no fusion experiment has achieved this milestone, although some have come close. To achieve net energy gain, the fusion plasma must be heated to very high temperatures, over 100 million degrees Celsius, compressed to high densities, and confined for long enough to allow the fusion reactions to occur. This requires sophisticated engineering and materials that can withstand the extreme conditions and radiation produced by the fusion process. Another challenge of commercial fusion is to convert the fusion energy into electricity that can be delivered to the grid. Fusion reactors produce energy in the form of high-energy neutrons and alpha particles, helium nuclei, that escape the plasma. The neutrons can be captured by a blanket of material surrounding the plasma, where they can heat up a coolant, such as water or molten salt, that can drive a turbine and a generator. The alpha particles can be used to heat up the plasma and sustain the fusion reaction. However, designing and building a reliable and efficient blanket system that can handle the high neutron fluxes and temperatures is a major engineering challenge that has not been demonstrated yet. A third challenge of commercial fusion is to ensure its safety and environmental sustainability.
Fusion reactors do not produce long-lived radioactive waste like fission reactors do, but they do produce some radioactive materials that need to be handled and disposed of properly. These include the activated materials in the blanket and other components that are exposed to neutron radiation, as well as the tritium fuel that is used in most fusion schemes. Tritium is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen that has a half-life of 12 years and can pose health and environmental risks if it leaks or escapes from the reactor. Tritium is also scarce and expensive and needs to be replenished by breeding it from lithium in the blanket or by extracting it from natural sources. These are some of the general challenges and risks of achieving commercial nuclear fusion, but there are also specific issues related to Hell Island Energy's timeline and technology that have raised skepticism among some experts. Hell Island Energy is a private company that claims to have developed a novel fusion concept called Magneto-Inertial Fusion MIF, which combines aspects of magnetic confinement and inertial confinement fusion. MIF uses pulsed magnetic fields to compress and accelerate a plasma ring or plasmid into a metal cylinder or liner where it collides with another plasmid and ignites a fusion reaction. Hell Island Energy says that its MIF device can achieve net energy gain with relatively low input power and small size, and that it can build a 50 megawatt commercial plant by 2028. However, some experts have expressed doubts about Hell Island Energy's claims, citing several reasons. Hell Island Energy has not published any peer-reviewed papers or data on its MIF experiments, making it hard to verify its results and progress. Hell Island Energy has not demonstrated net energy gain or break-even in its MIF device, nor has it shown how it will convert the fusion energy into electricity. Hell Island Energy's MIF device uses a rare gas called helium-3 as part of its fuel mixture which is very scarce and expensive to obtain. Helium-3 is not found naturally on Earth, but only in trace amounts in the lunar soil or in nuclear waste. Hell Island Energy says that it can breed helium-3 from deuterium in its reactor, but this has not been proven yet. Hell Island Energy's MIF device faces many technical challenges, such as achieving high compression ratios, avoiding plasma instabilities, controlling impurities, optimizing plasma parameters, scaling up the device size and repetition rate, and ensuring safety and reliability. These are some of the reasons why some experts are skeptical of Hell Island Energy's timeline and technology for commercial nuclear fusion. While Hell Island Energy may have made some advances in its MIF concept, it still has a long way to go before it can prove its feasibility and viability as a source of clean and abundant energy for the world.